Welcome back. I forget where we last left off, but let's continue enjoying some Shogi Wars. Uh, ten minutes is normal, uh, so maybe as I progress with this far enough, maybe we'll try a three minute sometime. I don't expect to do ten second anytime soon. Good luck. Wow, I turned down my speakers. That's still loud. All right, you got central file rook versus fourth file rook. Uh, this is already very unusual. So let's just go for it. <laughs> Who am I playing? A uh, two Q. All right. We have collected a pawn. Uh, let's castle before things get too strange. Good gravy, this is loud. All right, continue castling. And I have no idea. My king's not safe here. Let's just pretend that this is all normal somehow. Um, strange. Okay, we'll just build half Mino Castle like nothing ever happened. If they bring this silver toward the king, this pawn hangs. So, yeah, this is pretty unusual. Um, I guess we'll offer a bishop exchange, which may be unwise, but who knows? Uh, oh, we've got a pawn in hand. Sometime we could put that to use. Okay, we've completed Mino Castle. Um, sure, let's transition to playing third fall rook. We've got time to do it. Um, also apply pressure on the edge and see if they, if they do respond. It's wise for them to respond, um, I think. Yeah, this is so strange. So, yeah, these peace noises are still quite loud. I've turned my speaker down a bit more. Um, hmm. We give our king an escape hatch. While we wait for our opponent's plan to surface. Um, I mean, I kind of understand what our opponent's waiting for, and I'm trying not to give them it. Um, Yeah, this is a strange position. They want me to make some shape weakening move. And so far I've not... 
not done such a thing. Yeah, I'm just very confused by this. I guess we'll bring the rook back over here. It was very nice attacking their bishop, but they were always threatening to drop a pawn straight in front of my rook. Um, so somehow this makes sense. And they've been waiting for me to move the silver before they do some drastic action on this diagonal, so... I invite them to have at it and show me what they're planning. Okay. But this is awkward. Um... don't understand their plan. It's your move again. If your idea is to break on the fourth file, I think I'm defending. I could be thinking incorrectly about this. But I've got a lot of pieces attacking this general area. Right. Uh, so I'm also pinning this silver in place. And I'm threatening bishop takes... Oh, right. I forgot about that. Well, I was looking smart for a second there. Just navigated slightly too close to the sun. Alright, well... Yeah, I'm not seeing how I make progress here. This is silly. I'm trying to encourage them to move this pawn forward so it becomes a target for my pawn and bishop. But also I'm considering moving my knight out to protect my bishop's head and just hack away at their king directly. Um... I'm not sure which plan I'm more serious about here. It's good to have more than one plan because they can't both work. Yeah, so the head of this king is looking fun to attack. And we'll start attacking momentarily. Um, yeah, I'm just not seeing their plan. So let's attack on the edge. Like, everything's just normal. So we have a lance in hand. A lance is a beautiful piece. Oh, knight takes lance. Oops. Uh, yeah, I should pay some respect to all the letters of the alphabet, not just the ones I like the most. Alright, so... Huh. Well, we got a lance now. It's not the way we expected to get it. Um, 
Um, sure. Why not? Let's attack a thing. So I'm threatening to take the knight and then take the bishop. Yeah, it would have been better had I just placed the lance back here directly instead of allowing the knight takes lance. That was pretty silly on my part. That said, they oh they have a lance and a pawn in hand, so we see return of the lance. Okay, whatever. Just have to soldier on through it. This is painful. This is extremely painful. Look how terribly I have messed up. Um, okay, we can't allow that to have unfettered access to our king. But, yeah, it's... Okay, that's silly. That's not the best use of a tempo. I don't think. Um, I mean, yeah, I get that they're removing generals around my king one by one, and that's discouraging at best. And probably much more dangerous than just discouraging. But, um... Let's see what we can do to try to stop the bleeding. Well, silver takes gold is actually quite strong. I messed up. I should have attacked the rook with my bishop directly. Although this might encourage other tactics. Yeah, my bishop is hanging here. Um... Let's try to defend this. Probably should have considered that a long time ago as well. Yeah, I don't know how to break this castle. It's a strong shape, that's why it's called a castle. Mm -hmm. I hear ya. I hear ya. This is a sad place for a gold general. I would much rather be defending my king than babysitting a rook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they have a silver and two golds. Um, hmm. I guess I have to take this and hope for the best. I would not have started with the gold. Um, oh, silver drop back here. No, it doesn't quite work. So yeah, they need to put the other gold there. Um, mm -hmm. I see all these pieces dropping. Um, what's the right way for me to deal with this? If there is a right way.
I'm trying to remove the night check threat here. My king needs to run. But for the king to run, there needs to be somewhere to run to. Welcome. Yeah. Well, we've also got one minute to get all our remaining moves played. But my guess is silver takes knight, no promotion is... Oh, actually, they've got a mate here. Just lance drop and silver mate. Uh, will they see it? Stay tuned for next episode of Dragon Ball Z. I don't know if they're doing this. Like, if they're looking and just confused as I was, or if they're just savoring the moment. Um, it looks like they might have been looking. Okay, they found it. Uh, well played. Good game. Yeah, their attack came swiftly. Um, I played a style I do not usually play, so mistakes happen. The game has been disabled. Very well. Um, are, am I able to seek another game this way? I don't understand why a particular game had been disabled, but if they'll allow me to play more games, we'll play more games. Good luck. Hmm. I know, in theory, uh, third foul and opposing rook generally have some advantage over um, central foul and fourth foul rook. And I think, in theory, uh, fourth foul has a slight edge on central foul. Um, but none of this really matters at levels of amateur, or amateur levels of play. Um, so I try not to worry too much about it, but sometimes when I'm on the favorite side of those sorts of situations, I do try to hype it up a bit. Dude, free pawn. There's no way I'm not taking the free pawn. All right. Uh, I probably should make a plan and not just say dude free pawn, but hey, how can you not celebrate once in a while? That is a lovely coffin they've constructed, but um, I think my position's solid enough. If I can be proven wrong, I will be impressed, but this position looks decent. Oh my goodness, really? You know I'm attacking. Um, it's, oh god, I could have taken... Well, it's not another free pawn, at least. Could have taken it. Didn't even consider that. Um, probably should have considered it. Hmm... <laughs> No, it was a free pawn. Just kidding. Alright, whatever. Um, we're gonna attack the king directly with all the pieces. And see if our opponent has a plan.
Because if they do and I don't, they should win this. I'm still working on trying to find a plan. Bishop takes pawn earlier would have been nice. Because they still don't have a pawn to place. Alright, this knight blocks their bishop. Okay. I'm not sure what to think about this move. It's an attacking move. All right, my rook is not effective behind a pawn. Let's get rid of the pawn that's in the way of my rook and give me more options as to where I might want to place this. Um, geez, really? I guess it's fine. It was a bit sudden, but I don't see anything wrong with it. Oh, I see something wrong with it. Okay. Um. Hmm. Nana. I'm just gonna take here and let their knight in. Fine. I did not think they would allow me to do pawn takes pawn here because this this is right in their king's face. Um, their king might be immune to pain, but not immune to consequences. Um. This is so confusing. I think they're just trying to make the position complicated. The problem is their king is exposed. Everything of theirs is exposed. So I threaten a bishop drop to win the rook or take the pawn that's protecting the king. And I've looked for some bishop drops and I didn't see one. Um, I could miss things. That's possible, but um, I do have this drop, so... As by virtue of this, I figure this uh, entire situation is worth risking. If I could get a knight, my attack could continue. I'm pretty sure there is a knight on the chopping block here. Um, not sure if I need it, but... Um, Hmm. A silver is even better than a knight. Or is it? Yeah, I need the silver. Let's take it. Uh, 
I'm aware that's a fork. Um, Go for me. Yeah, no, it just looks like either pawn push or dropping a silver right in front of my pawn both look devastating here. Um, yeah, this looks crushing. All right, what do we do now? This looks crushing. Huh. Didn't expect that. I guess this tries to shield their king as it tries to make an escape. All right, and they've given up on shielding the king. Um, let's check. Good game. That was exciting. I know I didn't hype it up a lot, but that was quite a continuation there. All right, so we've had two technical difficulties, one immediately preceding and one immediately following this game. I know we usually play three games per day, but I'm thinking with two technical difficulties, uh, perhaps it's a good time to call it here. Yeah, it was quite a game. Um, I kind of, well, I'm not sure completely what I expected. They did get a counterattack. Perhaps my knight advance was a bit slow, but it seemed to work. So, yeah, with that, we'll see you all at Chogi Harbor Sunday morning stream. So, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.